In this session, I want to go over the Teams user settings. A lot of our settings are set it and forget it, and we don't have to think about it maybe for years. Teams, I really want to encourage you to understand the settings and the preferences that we can that were offered through the drop down menu and encourage you to use them maybe on a daily basis even to notify your colleagues and your coworkers of your current status and also the notifications you're getting from the Teams application itself. So you see in the top right is the photo of my persona, Lee Gu. And when I click down on, on his photo, I'm presented with our settings menu. The first thing I can do is change his photo. That may be a setting where you can set and forget it. But the second option is our availability. So I'm currently being shown as available. Maybe I want some focus time and I want to mark myself as busy. And this will update automatically with your calendar because of that integration. So if I jump into a meeting or onto a phone call, that presence will change. And even if I'm presenting my screen, I can mark it as do not disturb. But I could also do a be right back or just appear away. So let's mark myself as busy because I need some focus time for the next couple hours to really work on a project. Another way I can show that is the set status message, which is my next option down from the presence. When I click on that, I'm allowed to provide some details about what I'm doing for the day. And maybe I'm currently heads down on a project. And this way, when I click show when people message me, when they go to send me a chat or mention me within a team or a channel, they're getting a notification before they ever even click send that I'm heads down on a project. So they get the opportunity to think, is this truly important to bother Leon or can it wait or can I send it maybe in an email so he sees it as a less pressing notification. And then I'm allowed to set the time range of my status message. So if it's work from home during the stay at home orders, maybe I just have it never ending. If it's letting everyone know that I stepped out for lunch, I can just set it for an hour and it'll automatically expire. And today's message, I'm heads down on a project, will have that expire at the end of the day. So you'll see my status is now updated. Any user within my organization that goes to send me a chat or mention me will see that I'm heads down on a project. The next option is saved messages. So I personally like to save some tasks for maybe my Saturday morning cup of coffee or if it's a detailed reading, maybe I'll save it for when I'm not so uh, being pulled into multiple projects, right? I, I really need some focus time to get caught up on you know a detailed PDF that was sent to me. So I clicked on save messages and I saved these messages in the past just by hovering over the message. You're presented with an ellipses, which is the menu item for that specific message. And I clicked on save message for a few of these. And now I'm presented with my own menu of the saved messages from the past. When I click on them, I'm brought directly into the feed from that message. And you can see I'd save this one saying we need to work extra hard to close some deals. So just a reminder for this notification, but if there is any call to action, I can complete that. And then I click on the ribbon of that saved message to essentially uh, delete it from my saved messages menu. The message doesn't go away where it initially lives. It's just no longer uh, in my saved messages item. And then let's go through some user settings specifically uh, to wrap up this overview. So beyond just the cosmetic changes of the contrast that you may personally like within the Teams client. Uh, I do want to call out in the privacy menu is where you'll see read receipts. These were automatically turned on when they were released. And I know as some users uh, do not prefer to have them on. So uh, much like a text message, it lets the user on the other end know that you've read their chat or their comment to you. Um, so these are turned on by default and you can turn them off if you'd like. The other part of the settings that I I recommend that users go in and make these work best for you is the notifications. And the notifications can be personalized and pretty granular. Now, how often do you want to be pulled back into the Teams application? So for someone like myself that lives in the Teams application, I don't need many emails and notifications drawing my attention back into it. But maybe your day-to-day -day is more focused towards an accounting application or an ERP system, and you're not in Teams for the full eight hours. Well, you can define the actual notifications that you're receiving at a very granular level, as you can see. And let's walk through what the options mean. So the banner is the notification that you would see in the bottom right hand of the screen, much like you get with an Outlook email. You get a pop-up that the emails come into your inbox. And then you can have emails. 
And at the bottom of this screen is where you would define how often you want emails. So maybe if I've missed chat messages, I want to be notified at the top of every hour via email that I've missed some chats. Or maybe I want that email to just run once a day. So at 5 o'clock, let me know of any notifications I've missed in my team's client throughout the day. A banner simply would act as just the pop-up banner, but you wouldn't get an email at any point. And then only show and feed is your activity feed within the team's client. So if you follow my mouse in the top left would be your activity feed and that will give you that red number pop up like we're all used to from our applications on our phone and that lets you know of any at mentions or messages within the team's client uh, that were directed your way as well. So as I scroll down the notifications, a couple of other ones to call out. You see here my missed activity emails. I can define how often I get those. But the meeting chat notifications I find pretty useful. If you have recurring meetings, maybe you don't want to be notified of any ongoing conversation of a meeting that you didn't join. So the chat is persistent, and if you're a part of a recurring meeting and you're on the invite list, you'll still see that chat, but maybe you don't want the notifications until you've joined or participated within that chat for that day or that weekly call, whatever it may be. That setting lives within here too. And then maybe you have a coworker who is busy or heads down on a project, you can define an actual notification to let me know when they come back to free and available for me to send my chat message. And you do that within the status manage notifications. The final piece is within here, the permissions for sharing to external devices, but also the phone calls. So if I'm jumping into the car headed to a client site or I am stepping out for a walk and getting some fresh air, maybe I want to forward all my calls to my cell phone. If you don't have the Teams mobile application installed on your cell phone, you can still select forward my calls. You can configure your voicemail and define your ringtones. Type in your phone number of your cell phone and the Teams desktop application will forward your calls directly to your cell phone while you're mobile. So hopefully this is helpful. I definitely encourage you to make these user settings work for you. And don't be afraid to work with the presence and the status message to let your colleagues and your coworkers know what you're working on throughout the day. Thanks, everyone.